Hello, this is Hamid and in this session I'm going to teach you how to set up the uh, Windows agent for for this sim. Uh, first of all, the first step is to download the Windows agent. You can download this file from the uh, Fortinet website and if you extract the file, there are three files here. The first file that you should consider more is the install setting.xml you should actually change some part of this file so I just uh, bring the uh, yeah, ID and organization name super IP and the other stuff because you should uh, change it in the uh, notepad plus plus because notepad plus plus you can see it better than the other editors so here the organization id based on the information that we have from for the sim uh, it is number one organization name is super and super ip is one for two two three two one nine seven 127 and the organization name again here is super and the agent user is agent in my case and agent password I think is PCIT at 1234 I guess I can check it double check everything in my forest sim like here if I go to forest sim and uh, under I guess it is under user so I bring it here to see the better the user so one of the my user is agent so I can use it with my agent user and now uh, after you change this file, the XML file, save the file and then run uh, your agent. So if you uh, successfully run your agent, um, you shouldn't receive any error or any prompt. So that's like this you have installed successfully your agent then you come back again to uh, let me maximize the browser because you cannot see some options here uh, you go to uh, refresh the CMDB from here so you go to CMDB and the devices so on the devices uh, we should see IP address 137 and 196 that the agent is installed successfully so what I can do here uh, I just can uh, there is an option here that you can change the uh, agent from the status agent so now uh, the agent is successfully installed you can go to admin tab and there is here Windows agent template so here you can set the template for your Windows agent create a new and call it template one And in the event section, if you have an IIS or a DHCP server, you can mark these options. It means that you can receive the log from this uh, two event. If you have, if you want to create another one, like you want to receive applications, security, and the other stuff related to your operating system, you can just um, select the type of a event and the source you can select the all sources that you have because some of them is just related to the operating system specifically for a SQL server and the exchange server um, like if you have a Windows server you can run this Windows agent 
and through the application you just can select the exchange server so you receive exchange server logs in the for sim and uh, if you want just the security um, you can select the all and here you can include or exclude the event so uh, if you're looking for a specific event you can write the just uh, the name of the event here and exclude item exclude the um, those items that you you don't want to see in the forest sim like if you want to see the system event you can select the system event here in a uh, i can save this step and go to user log in the user log you can say that which directory do you want to uh, receive the log like if we want to just uh, see the logs from the c directory you can see the c or a specific folder you can mention the specific folder here and you can tag these items like with a specific tag so the log prefix here it means that any logs is coming to the forward scene it has this tag so you can search it in analytic tab easily this log with this tag and let's say we want to have an fim and let's have a full path of the directory let's say we have this directory it is in my c drive user so I just paste this directory here so I'm saying that anything it has changed in this directory or subdirectory just uh, send the logs for me and you can exclude the files or you can include the file type I can say that okay anything it with the extension of doc or anything with the extension of the I can say XML send it for me send the logs for me so this one is really a uh, handy tool when when you don't want to receive any um, other logs any other logs from the other types of the uh, files and again you can uh, save this step and which type of the uh, the registry file if someone changed the registry like the um, root user machine and the other type of the logs or any removable devices you can track that or any software changes uh, you can track all of them and you can send it to for a thing save it again for the next system and i didn't show you the last tab the script tab so here if you have a wmi it means that some uh, script or powershell script you can um, run it here if you have a specific uh, powershell script or if you have a specific wmi class like i want to have in hardware software I want to have a just USB controller so you can select the attribute here any attribute that you want for the WMI and after that you can receive the logs specific to hardware software in forest theme. pay attention here we can connect active directory uh, through the WMI uh, that's um, if you search on the Google how you can uh, use a WMI and uh, a WMI script uh, with Active Directory so uh, you can use that and you can connect your Active Directory to for its sim all right so I'm um, created my template here so I have here my template one and here it will ask me which host do you want to associate to your template so i can say that my pc here 
and if you look here you have a windows pc that you can assign this windows pc here so now i'm saying through the windows select just this pc and which template because i have created in previous step template one i want to select template one and here we have one controller or collector uh, sorry i made a mistake we have only one collector so you can uh, select that and assign it to, it to the host after you have done you should apply all changes and sometimes this one is so tricky and buggy i have seen that i've installed so many times that you, sometimes you don't receive any logs you should install your uh, agent you can check your agent the status of your agent is up or not and then uh, let me check the ip address again 137 196 so if you go to analytics here attribute reporting ip it should be one for two two three two one thirty seven one ninety six and apply and run so we haven't received anything from 15 minutes ago oh i made a mistake maybe is a typo here uh 137 196 yes so if you run that there isn't any logs now also you can check your agent in cmdb windows and if you click here your ip address uh, where is the my ip address is here so oh sorry uh here you can receive some information from the agent like um, the operating system is windows 10 and other information is here so the agent is successfully installed about the configuration software and hardware uh, you can receive some information here I hope this has been informative and thanks for watching.